sit back and get ready. It's time for your Arizona Sports Report. Will Inquan be bold enough to hold out or in camp on time? All the cards talk in store. Sports and DNA. What's the connection? Kevin McKay breaks it down. All that and more on the show that doesn't pork around. The ASR right now. Let's get started. It's your Arizona Sports Report. Straight ahead, the ASR turns. CSI, just like crime scene investigations, we turn to the DNA, except we will do it in order to run faster and swing harder. So, what does the ASR have in common with programs like Law and & Order and CSI? Well, tonight, we are talking DNA. No, it has nothing to do with a homicide investigation, but instead, how a Scottsdale company is using DNA to help turn athletes, help them turn it up a notch. Our Kevin McCabe has more. It is the latest in high-tech training. Motion DNA in Scottsdale, the mastermind of scientist Zig Ziglar. If there is a, an efficient way to do a specific task, we have the ability to measure how that task is performed and compare it to ideal biomechanics. With computer readouts loaded with ever-changing numbers, athletes like Cardinals wide receiver Anquan Bolden are attached with electrodes to monitor their every move, measuring strengths and weaknesses. You know, as an athlete, you think, you know, oh, I'm okay, uh, you know, you just go by how you feel. And a lot of times it's not, it's not that, just that simple. Uh, you know, so coming down here and getting assessed and knowing what I need to work on and what I don't need to work on, and, you know, where I'm strong and where I'm weak, I think it, it helps me out, you know, tremendously. Now, Bolden actually believes motion DNA could have helped him last year when he suffered a leg injury during training camp that sidelined him a good part of the season. It was the imbalance of the one leg being stronger than the other from me having an injury at Florida State, thinking that I probably rehabbed it, but it wasn't 100%. Now, Motion DNA works with athletes of all ages, a variety of sports, softball and golf. NBA Hall of Famer Bob Lanier, who has undergone some 13 surgeries in his lifetime, definitely sees the advantages. I think teams, I mean, when you look at teams, again, in any sport, they, they got to look at this and say, you know what, this is really good for us. I, if I were a team, I'd have to look at this for you know, evaluate my players' strengths, strengths and weaknesses. As you can see, this is ideal for professional athletes, athletes of all abilities, weekend warriors, even sportscasters. Somebody help me here. Get me off this thing. How do you stop this thing? I'm Kevin McKay for your Arizona Sports Report. Thank you. Appreciate it. Kevin in a treadmill. Not, not, uh, <laughs> it doesn't seem right. Now.